Hey there, I got three total conversion mods for three of the best games on the PlayStation 2 right here for you. I'll show you where to get these mods and how to install them. First up, a classic, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So this mod is actually called Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I know they've been working on this mod probably longer than we've known about Sparking Zero's existence, but if you're really excited for Sparking Zero and you haven't tried this, I definitely recommend it because it really puts a new spin on an old classic and you'll really enjoy it. Just a small list of things it adds. It has a battle mechanic overhaul. There's all new characters from the Super Series. All new costumes and designs for your favorite characters as well. They also have new movesets for existing characters. New stages, new single player content, new story. It's a whole lot of content and it'll give you hours and upon hours of play if you really love Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I mean heck, if you've never even played Budokai Tenkaichi 3, you could still jump into this and have a whole lot of fun. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do is go to this website. Uh, get, bear in mind this website will be in Spanish and I will be putting a link in the description so you can easily access it. The team does have their website out there, but a lot of the links are to an older URL that's no longer available. Uh, but I'll have the most update date one there for you. Now, like I said, the website will be in Spanish, but don't worry, there's an English version. So you don't have to worry about getting the game in Spanish if that's what your concern is because you don't speak it. Um, you're going to see up here, it's going to say Descarga. Um, it's changed here for me because I have the auto translate on, but it might say Descarga for you. You're going to go to Budokai Tenkaichi 4. You're going to scroll down here. You're going to go to PS2, and then you're going to choose one of these links from English, and that'll let you download the game. The game's going to come in an ISO format. It's going to look like this. All right, so this is what it'll look like. It'll come in this little zip folder here. It's going to say DB, DBZ B24 ENGB. Um, you're going to need something like 7-zip because it will be uh, compressed. So you just open up 7-zip and extract it. It'll be an ISO file. If you're familiar with how PS, PC XS2 works, it can read these ISO files. Uh, so you just put it in whatever folder you normally get your game pass for, and you'll be able to launch it from there. Now keep in mind it may appear as Budokai Tenkaichi 3 uh, when you get into PC um, XX2. So just make sure you double check and make sure it's the right one. Once you get there, you can change it to the title or cover art, whichever you want to do to make sure it's identifiable for you. One thing I wanted to mention about the Budokai Tenkaichi mod, if you want to unlock everything and not really have to go through like the process of unlocking everything, there is actually a code, which I will actually include in the description as well if you just want to play with all the new stuff and not have to bother trying to unlock it all. If you want to do it the old-fashioned way, um, more power to you. Just want to make that available there for people who just want to go in there, you know, and play with all the new stuff and see what's new. So for our next game, another classic for you. You've probably played this game, but if you haven't, it is the best wrestling game you could ever play. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Now, believe it or not, it actually has some fantastic mods out there, but there is one that I really like called All Stars. It's a little buried out there right now, so it's hard to find, but I know exactly where to get it, and I can show you how through the Internet Archive. And it adds a bunch of characters to the game. Um, you can play as like Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega. It has all new moves as well, so you'll be able to actually play with these new moves. It still feels so great to play even after all these years, and you'll experience far less bugs than you do when you play 2K. The mod also features the wrestler's entrance music and different music uh, added to the game. I won't be playing any of that though, just because all of it's copyright and I don't want to take any strikes, but it'll all be in there when you get into the game and you start playing. Okay, so now this one is actually going to be located on the Internet Archive. Um, it is going to be under Here Comes the Pain All Stars 1.5. However, I will put a link once again in the description so you can easily get there and access it. Um, you can download it however you prefer, raw or torrent, but I am going to get the raw file. Um, make sure you get 1.5, not 1.2. So you're just going to download it from here, and then after it's done, we'll continue from there. So again, another simple one. Here comes the pain comes in a raw file. So you'll, again, you'll need something like 7-zip to open this up. So you open archive, you extract it. Um, now there is one little tidbit about this one. So it does act as its own separate ISO, but keep in mind, you need to use the memory card that comes in it. Um, so make sure you load that up or load up a brand new fresh memory card that hasn't been used yet because otherwise you may encounter some save data issues with the game because of how the mod works. It needs an entire memory card pretty much to itself formatted. So I would just recommend for ease of use to just use the memory card that comes with it. and Then you can kind of go from there. Now the final game I have for you here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. 
I don't know if you've ever played this or even played Yu-Gi-Oh before, but even if you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh before, I really recommend you playing Duels of the Roses. It doesn't play quite like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it has a lot of familiar monsters and characters if you do play Yu-Gi-Oh in it, but it is a fantastic little strategy game and there's nothing quite like it. I've never played anything like it. It's very interesting. Um, you basically have a master monster and you summon different monsters on the field as well as magic cards and trap cards, but it's it takes place on like a board like a, almost like a chessboard um, square field and so there's a lot of strategy and element to actually winning the matches because there's even different terrains and uh, those that will affect your monster and their abilities and make them stronger or weaker depending on what terrains they're on uh, so there's a lot that goes into it and like i said it plays very different from traditional Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's a lot of fun and as a game itself you can basically play this without any prior knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh, and you'll have a very fun time with it so the Redux mod is designed to give you an additional challenge as well as new maps and modifications to the cards. So you have some different experience there if you've ever played Duel of the Roses. I have played that game religiously and so this kind of brings a breath of fresh air to the game uh, because I, I have played so much Duel of the Roses and I've beaten it so many times. and. I can't tell you how many times I'm just like, I wish there was more, because I don't think we'll ever get anything like it again, not even in like a different format. Uh, but yes, Duelist of the Roses Redux will offer you that experience. It's made by a very creative person who loves Duelist of the Roses. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install that and where to get it. Uh, this is probably a little bit more complicated, but it's not too hard. Um, you'll just have to kind of follow the process very carefully to make sure you don't accidentally hurt your ISO files or any copy of you kill Duels of the Roses that you might have on your computer right now. Alright, and this is where you're going to be getting Duels of the Roses Redux. Now keep in mind I will again put the uh, link in the description so you don't have to worry about searching for it. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up Duels of the Roses patch. It's the only one that doesn't have a separate ISO file. So I want to make a quick tutorial on how to do that. So first things first, you're going to need to do this to the Roses ISO file. I do recommend that you make a backup. Um, I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and go into the main folder I have it set up in. So I just renamed the ISO file so I can keep track of it. Uh, this is mostly just for my sake. I recommend you do the same, but if, it's, if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, so this is actually the unzipped um, version of the patch that you downloaded. So we're going to go inside of Redux. We're going to go over here to PPF-O-Matic. We're going to launch PPF-O-Matic 3. Now this is going to ask us for the ISO file. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the... Remember, this is the Dual of Roses uh, copy that I made. I just renamed it. We're going to go ahead and pop that here. Now... What we're going to do here is we're going to go into our Duel of the Roses Redux. We're going to go into here. And then this is our patch. So you're going to see it's patch.ppf. That's going to be inside the zip file that you extracted. We're going to put it here. We're going to go ahead and click apply. You're going to have to give it a minute. Okay, now once you're done, it will take maybe a minute or two. You'll get this notification patch successfully applied. Burn image to CD now. All right, so now we are all set. I should be able to load this up on PCXX2, and we'll see that there. All right, now that I have the PCSX2 opened up, let's go ahead and uh, launch the Duels of the Roses. Now you're going to see two Duels of the Roses if you have them both in the same folder. And if you're confused by which one it's supposed to be, what you can do is right-click the um, and look at them, and what you should see is the actual name from the path. So here you can see this one is for Duels of the Roses, so that's probably not it. Properties, here we go, D-O-T-R patch. So we're just going to change the name up here, D-O-T-R patched. Close that, and then that way you can kind of tell. You can also change the um, background art or something if you want, but uh, I don't really mind. Hopefully this enables you to enjoy some of your favorite games in a new way and also extend their life for you. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.